And in the spirit of my father, um, I would blame the commissioners for that cost and not the line workers. For that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as Kathy mentioned, my dad worked with the PD, um, and I know when he started, because I was born that year, 1965, uh, for uh, 30 years, and uh, um, almost ended his life at the PD, um, where he had his first heart attack at the Arlington substation. <laughs> Only a block and a half from the hospital. Very convenient. Good planning on his part. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it is going to be home, and uh, it's going to be here celebrating a project. Uh, like this, be, I was thinking about it because uh, there's no way um, that when my dad started, or even in 1995, uh, uh, when he uh, uh, retired or, or thereabouts, uh, would have thought about the, either the words microgrid uh, or energy storage when it came to his job. Um, it's not what uh, PD was about, or any public utilities, or many electrical, electric utilities were about. Um, it was a big deal the year they uh, started putting uh, um, power under the ground. Um, um, and I'm re I, know, I know what year that was, because I was in sixth grade, and Norm Olson, who used to manage the uh, office up here in Arlington, came to our sixth grade class to talk about um, uh, careers. And the night before, my dad told me to ask Norm a question, and as that question was, why is all this maintenance-free underground power? Why, why, are, why are PD linemen and foremen spending so much time maintaining the maintenance-free underground power? <laughs> so I asked that question, and he looked at me and goes, are you Dick Larson's kid? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that was uh, kind of the person my dad was. Um, and I think, uh, um, all linemen and foremen know better than the PD engineers how to do a job. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's the other thing that's taught me. <laughs> so, or at least he believed anyway. So it's good to be, uh, it's, it's good to be home. And last month I met with the, the, your team at the PD to talk through this, uh, this center to hear about what the plan is, what the project will mean for the broader community's emergency operations and, uh, and new energy capabilities. Again, capabilities that would not have been thought of in 1965 when dad started working here. Um, but the Northwest Washington itself, the, our region, is a hub for renewable energy, and this center will build on that success. To so give you a flavor of what that uh, what that uh, means for the Northwest in terms of uh, being a hub for renewable energy, and put this project here in context. According to the Solar Energy Industries Association, 12,000 homes in Washington State including uh, a mere 436 in my district are powered through solar energy. We're trying to get more. But solar energy supports about 3,600 jobs in the state. And among them, uh, inc that, the, the, that includes the uh, uh, men and women who work at 18 individual companies in the second congressional district uh, that are involved with uh, installing and manufacturing solar, including the largest solar cell uh, manu solar panel manufacturer in the state of ITEC up in, uh, in Bellingham, which is expanding. So with investments like uh, the PUD's uh, microgrid center, these numbers will only continue to grow. And Congress itself can ensure that uh, PUD's and other utilities and businesses as well have these resources they need to expand renewable energy projects across the district. And recently, the fiscal year 2018 package uh, at the federal level included about two, a $232 million increase for the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy and a $33 million increase for the solar energy program. Uh, as well, um, we need to increase our research and development into energy storage as, and, uh, and support our national labs, places like the Pacific Northwest National Labs, which are really the centers at which um, the private sector research and the public sector research come together to find ways to expand the role that renewable energy can play in our lives. Uh, these funds will advance key research help the federal government partner with local communities uh, to use clean, affordable, and secure energy resources. So um, as well, I just would note, as a member of the Bipartisan Solar Caucus, and we have a caucus for everything in Congress. <laughs> there's a solar caucus. I'm sure there's a lunar caucus as well. Um, 
but I'll put, I don't, I don't know if there is. <laughs> Lindsay, look it up. To see if there's <laughs> um, I, certainly as a, as a member of the Solar Caucus, uh, I'll keep renewable energy a priority uh, in Congress, work to strengthen the job creation associated with it, promote environmental stability, and increase investments in renewable energies uh, throughout the country, and of course here in Washington State, because investing in Washington State's renewable uh, energy is an investment in Washington State's economy. So I uh, really appreciate Snohomish County PUD inviting me back to uh, be part of uh, this ceremony. Um, I know uh, my mom could be here today. She's at home, she couldn't be here today, but she would love to be here today as well. Uh, but thank you. And, I, and I, before I uh, hand it over, I guess, to Scott, I do wanna um, thank all these men and uh, women who are the linemen and the foremen who, uh, that's gonna be partly an emergency operations center. I can, I can tell you the number of days missed uh, because dad was out, uh, you know, he was out in Darrington. They're putting a line back up at 3 a.m. in the morning because some idiot knocked it, you know, yeah. ran it with his car or truck. Or the inauguration day storm, and dad was gone for six days, um, putting power back up uh, for people here in the region. Um, these men and women uh, really deserve your uh, thanks and your support because they might do an eight to five or a nine to five or whatever regular day job, but. When that dispatch calls at 2 a.m., uh, they're out the door and they may not be back for a while. And hopefully, they do get back. Uh, so think of them in the next storm because they're doing hard work for you. Mm -hmm. Next slide.